Compliance Prime Presence Fringe Benefits Blitz for 2023 Taxing and Reporting Fringe Benefits Fringe benefits are an important component for recruiting and keeping high-quality employees in today's business world. The diversity of available fringe benefits can make the area of payroll compliance positively overwhelming. Why you should attend As a payroll professional, you must know cold, no guessing, when a fringe benefit is taxable and when it is not. What if the employee pays some of the cost of a fringe benefit? How does that affect taxing and reporting? All fringe benefits must be handled correctly, under the latest rules, to minimize the chance of penalties. Areas covered. Transportation fringe benefits. What are the four allowable methods to calculate the personal use of a company car? IRS 132 transportation fringe benefits include parking, bus passes, and tokens. Section 132 fringe benefits. Working condition fringe benefits. De minimis fringe benefits. Meals, clothing, housing, and education fringe benefits. On-site lodging taxation and reporting. Providing meals for employees, is it taxable or not? This webinar is presented by Vicki M. Lambert, CPP. Vicki M. Lambert, CPP, is President and Academic Director of The Payroll Advisor, a firm specializing in payroll education and training. With 40 years of hands-on experience in all facets of payroll functions as well as over three decades as a trainer and author, Ms. Lambert has become the most sought after and respected voice in the practice and management of payroll issues. Ms. Lambert is an adjunct faculty member at Brandman University in Southern California where she is the instructor for the American Payroll Association's Pay Train Online program. Earn certification credits from HRCI, SHRM, CPE, APA. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now and stay updated.